Let's see if we can figure out the product of x minus 4 and x plus 7. And we want to write that product in standard quadratic form, which is just a fancy way of saying a form where you have some coefficient on the second degree term, ax squared, plus some coefficient b on the first degree term, plus the constant term. So this right over here would be standard quadratic form. So that's the form that we want to express this product in. And I encourage you to pause the video and try to work through it on your own. All right, now let's work through this. And the key when we're multiplying two binomials like this, or actually when we're multiplying any polynomials, is just to remember the distributive property that we all by this point know quite well. So what we could view this as is we can distribute this x minus 4, this entire expression, over the x and the 7. So we could, we could say that this is the same thing as x minus 4 times x plus x minus 4 times 7. So let's write that. So x minus 4 times x, or we could write this as x times x minus 4. That's distributing the, or multiplying the x minus 4 times x. That's right there. Plus, plus 7 times x minus 4 times x minus 4. Notice, all we did is distribute the x minus 4. We took this whole thing and we multiplied it by each term over here. We multiplied x by x minus 4, and we multiplied 7 by x minus 4. Now we see that we have these, I guess you call them two separate terms, and to simplify each of them or to multiply them out, we just have to distribute in this first, we have to distribute this blue x, and over here we have to distribute this blue 7. So let's do that. So here we could say x times x is going to be x squared. x times, we have a negative here, so we could say negative 4 is going to be negative 4x. And just like that, we get x squared minus 4x. And then over here, we have 7 times x, so that's going to be plus 7x. And then we have 7 times the negative 4, which is negative 28. And we are almost done. We can simplify it a little bit more. We have two first degree terms here. If I have, if I have negative 4x's and to that I add 7x's, what is that going to be? Well, those two terms together, these two terms together are going to be negative 4 plus 7x's. Negative 4 plus, plus 7 negative 4 plus 7x's. So all I'm doing here, I'm making it very clear that I'm adding these two coefficients. And then we have all the other terms. We have the x squared, x squared plus this, and then we have, and then we have the minus, and then we have the minus 28. And we're at the home stretch. This would simplify to x squared. Now negative 4 plus 7 is 3. So this is going to be plus 3x. That's what these two middle terms simplify to, to 3x. And then we have minus 28. Minus 28. And just like that, we are done. And a fun thing to think about, and notice it's in the same form. If we were to compare a is 1, b is 3, and c is negative 28. But it's interesting here to look at the pattern. When we multiply these two binomials, especially these two binomials where the coefficient on the x term was a 1. Notice, we have x times x. That's what actually forms the x squared term over here. We have negative 4. Let me do this in a new color. We have negative 4 times, that's not a new color. We have, we have negative 4 times 7 which is going to be negative 28. And then how did we get this middle term? How did we get this 3x? Well, you had, you had the negative 4x plus the 7x. Or you had the negative 4 plus the 7 times x. You had the negative 4 plus the 7 plus the 7 times x. So hopefully you see a little bit of a pattern here. If you're multiplying two binomials where the coefficients on the x term are both 1. It's going to be x squared. And then the last term, the constant term, is going to be the product of these two constants, negative 4 and 7. And then the first degree term, right over here, its coefficient is going to be the sum of these two constants, negative 4 and 7. Now this might, you could view this pattern if you practice it as just something that'll help you multiply binomials a little bit faster. But it's super important that you realize where this came from. This came from nothing more than applying the distributive property twice.